Hello YouTube, today we're going to go over how to use the Reloaded Mod Loader. Now this tutorial will be for Fancy Star Online 2 in particular, but it will also work for any other game you want to try it for. So let's go ahead and download that here. I already have all this downloaded, but I have all these links in the description. So you have this here. If you're doing PSO2 in particular, you'll want to go ahead and download this environment set.zip that's very important. Go ahead and get the mods you want. Now in the future, most mods should show up with this one-click install here, but even so, you'll need to have Reloaded actually set up for that game to use that. Anyways, if you're doing PSO2 in particular, run this environment set.bat, and what that does is set a little flag for your system. You'll need to restart your system before that actually works, but that makes it so that PSO2 can run through Reloaded. Now, we've got that done with. Let's go ahead and open Reloaded. So by default, we'll have Global Mods, Sonic Adventure 2, Sonic Heroes, Sonic Riders, but let's just say we don't care about those. Either way, we'll have to go to Manage and we'll have to set them up. So let's make a new game. Let's just call it PSO2. That's bugged right now. Hopefully in the future, the author will fix that. And I believe this is bug too, yep. If you set it through this, it should be good, yeah. So let's go ahead and type that out. And my path for the EXE will be over here. It probably won't be for everyone, but this is where I put it. Once you've got that done, for most games, you can go ahead and save. For PSO2, we're going to add one more thing. Now, this is in the little bat launcher to not use the regular patching launcher. It's a little faster. Modders kind of need it anyway. But for PSO2, we just take that little thing, set that there, and then save. Now we've got Fancy Star Online 2 set up. Uh-oh, we don't have mods. Let's fix that. So what we're going to do for that one is we're going to go over here. You'll just kind of go into your name and then go to app data roaming, blah, blah, blah. This is your mods folder. So let's go ahead and drag some stuff in there. And it's literally as simple as that. And voila, now we have all these things here. So let's go ahead and turn those on. And as you can see, once the plus is there, that means it's enabled. If you wanna change the order, you can just drag these around and that'll do that. So for these mods in particular, you can go and configure something here. Not all games have this, but you can go ahead and set some buttons. I already have, but if you want to do that, you can go ahead just by double clicking it and then setting something. <clears throat> All right, so let's launch the game and see how that looks. Depending on your game, this little command window will look a little different. PSO do who does some funny things, so you see a bunch of stuff pop up, but that's not really a big deal. <laughs> Once you've set that up, by the way, you can go ahead and exit this, minimize it, whatever you want to do. Now, if you're familiar with this game, you'll notice immediately Skybox looks a little different. You have some different lighting going on here. It's a little funny. For some reason, I have dual blades out, but I have the anger rod. Everything's a little different than it should be. As you can see, that works. And whenever I change weapons, like the mod said, there's a random mess. Yeah. 
And that's really it. If you have any questions, leave a comment, and thank you.